Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, and this is Journey for all you youngins out there. <laughs> Classic old band. Listen to the smart people. Sorry. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience and build it into a profit generating business based on your purpose. Today I'm going to talk about a subject that this is, this is so important that um, you really need to pay attention and, uh, and I'm going to say that this is something that you really need to focus on every day. I mean, I talk about it a lot, but with our 95% of our human brains in repetitive thought, it's very easy to get influenced by what other people are thinking. And so today, I'm going to talk about how you can stand out from the competition. Now, I know I always say, you know, you don't have competition, but if you are going to do some of the things that I'm going to tell you today that I see people doing, then you actually um, have competition because you're blending in, which is why you may not be getting clients, why you feel like you're lacking visibility, um, judging things by likes on Facebook. And, uh, you know, so uh, this is a very important subject. So uh, I would appreciate it if you would share this with anyone who needs this knowledge also. So... I'm going to talk about, I think it's about seven steps. So first of all, um, you know, we're going to talk about standing out from the competition. Now, why this is important is that, you know, there, there are a lot of, regardless if they're even competition or not, there's a lot of other business owners online. And the way that business is being taught, so you may have learned this way also, is that, you know, you go into Facebook groups. And you learn from other entrepreneurs and then you go and you do the things that they tell you to do. You know, build an email list and do a webinar and do all those things. And to those things, as I always say, and I teach my position to sell, um, dot totalgenius.net, uh, one-on-one -on -one course, those things are important. It's like you do need uh, ways to get your methods out. Those are tactics. But if you don't have the positioning in your business that makes you stand out, then uh, literally you're just throwing, uh, throwing what you have out there and seeing who catches it. And to me, that's a very um, risky way of building a business, which is why people are like, you know, I, I don't have clients. Where, where are my clients? And, uh, you know, the other competitor... This is the one that you actually can't see, and that's called distraction. So you actually have uh, two types of competitors. One are actual people, and then the other are things like, um, you know, kids screaming in the background, uh, other priorities, uh, you know, um, uh, fear, um, lack of... Uh, of knowledge about you know what they really need and so both of those things mean that standing out becomes the most important thing that you need to do because if you already know you need the tactics the email list the webinars and things like that and you you actually don't need all of those things but you, you need some way to get your your information out if you already know you need that, then the one thing you need to be focused on is not how to build an email list. It's actually that you need to stand out. So the first thing that you need to do in order to stand out is to stop doing what everyone else is doing. Stop doing what everyone else is doing. If you want to stand out from everybody, then why would you go and uh, try to do exactly like they're doing? So this is what I see often, and this is why, um, you know, there's like things, people called gurus out there. And, you know, I, I don't mean to bash them because it's not their fault. But, uh, you know, uh, people, maybe you, 
think that because that person or those people have made a lot of money, that if you do the exact things that they do, you indeed will have the same success. So if you've ever thought that, you're wrong. <laughs> this is why some people have success with that and some people don't. It's, it's not uh, doing the exact things that they're doing. If you really break down whoever you think is a guru and you look at their beginnings and then the consistent things that they've done over time, it's not that they built an email list. That's not what made them successful. It's not that they did a webinar. That's not what made them successful. It was that either they were uh, introduced by someone who had a lot of followers and gave them the blessing or whatever of, you know, uh, joining them and opens them up to a large group of people so that they uh, suddenly had a large audience and could use their skills to, um, to sell to these people. So either it was that or they understood this thing, how to stand out being themselves in their strengths. You can break down any guru and, and look at that's what they did. They may have delivered it in, through a tactic, but that's not how they created their success. So you need to stop doing what everyone is doing. Stop learning from people who have learned from people who have learned from people who have learned from people. Understand, you know, I, I did a, a video about this yesterday about the entrepreneurial success. In fact, these are all my videos. You know, the one thing that you need to make your business successful is to be able to um, share what it is that you do in a strategic way so that you know your business is positioned correctly so that it's appealing to somebody and it solves an urgent problem. And then uh, understand what sort of marketing and words you need to speak and things like that that will get them to pull a wallet out of their pocket. That's all you need to know. Then you can apply the email, the webinar, and all of that. So stop doing what everyone else is doing. Um, overthinking. I want to say stop thinking. <laughs> because how many times has uh, our brains gotten in our own way? I mean, I'm sure that, that you have said before, you know, oh, I can't get out of my own way. Or, you know, I wish I could stop thinking about this. Or, I can't decide. Overthinking is actually caused by um, fear. You know, I talk about the three brains. The fight or flight brain, where all, everything is, is, passes through. So, you know, before it can go to your emotional brain where decisions are made. And to your thinking brain where, you know, I call it your stupid thinking brain. But where you can logically think about it, that fear brain, if you don't know how to control it, then it's just going to power everything. And, um, you know, then overthinking happens. And you know what happens with overthinking? It's that you never end up doing the thing that you wanted to do. Or you dumb it down so much because you, you want to make sure that um, it doesn't offend people or people won't judge you. We're talking about standing out. And that means that if you want to stand out, and, and you have to stand out, um, people are going to judge you. That's, that's called being a business owner. There are millions of brands out there. I guarantee you, you don't buy from all of them. And, you know, the large companies, they don't take offense to that. Uh, because they're so focused on the people that do buy from them. So... Taking a strong position on what it is that you do and sell is how you create your success. So overthinking and worrying about, you know, how am I going to do this? First of all, if you don't know how, then, then, you know, you need to work with someone. I'm a business strategist. There's other business strategists out there, business coaches, you know, if you don't know how. Um, but overthinking is where nothing happens. And unfortunately, what ends up happening with overthinking is beating yourself up. And then, you know, low self-esteem. 
So, you know, the other side of this is, is if you spend your time overthinking and then lose your self-esteem, you know, nothing sells like conviction. And in actuality, uh, people, everybody, humans, we're all looking for something to believe in. That's just the human condition. So bring that back down to your business. People are looking for somebody that believes in what they do. So much so that they have such solid conviction that the people that you speak to are like, I need some of that. You know, if you look at the people who, um, who are, you know, made millions and all that, it's not that uh, they're more talented than you. It's just that they have that really strong belief in themselves. And that belief will empower everything. Because the thing that makes you stand out is, is, is going to have to get past that fear brain. Meaning that your belief in yourself is probably the most important thing to being able to stop overthinking and start, um, you know, positioning yourself as different. Uh, I heard this quote today. You can do anything you want in life as long as you're prepared to deal with the consequences. That's called trust, self-trust. If you are prepared to deal with it, and you know how I view it? Life, in general, is an experiment. And if you aren't having fun in your business, taking risks, if you aren't having fun, uh, you know, doing your magic and seeing what happens and then being prepared to pivot and do fun things, then you're missing the gift of being an entrepreneur. Then go get a job. Because being an entrepreneur is supposed to be changing things. Entrepreneurs change things. You don't have to learn something to change something. Your strong conviction in yourself and speaking it, getting over your fear, will change things. Because no one's you. So when you can get over you know, the fear of judgment from others, suddenly you, know, you don't have to like go and learn something. You just have to be more of you. How fun is that? And then you learn, and then it's like, oh, okay, that didn't work. And you know what happens? The more that you, you, you work, fail, win, the easier it, it, you, you just become bulletproof. Because the reality is, is you fail all the time. Not you, but everybody does. I fail. I fail all the time. Everybody fails. We all are human. And so, you know, uh, taking what you perceive to be a risk is actually just believing in yourself. If you can do uh, anything you want in life as long as uh, you're, you're, you're willing to deal with the consequences, I have an article. Um, it's at totalgenius.net and then high growth mindset, all one word. Um, that's what a high growth mindset is. It's knowing that when you fall, you can pick yourself up again. You know, when you were a baby, um, you didn't try to walk and then go, damn, <laughs> can't get that walking thing down. And then just lay there. You fell, you got back up, you fell, you got back up. You know, when you first rode a bike, that was the scariest thing ever. I remember my dad letting me go. I was like, no, oh my God. And... There I go. I was riding a two-wheeled bike with uh, purple handles and things hanging off. <laughs> yes, resilience, Lynn. So um, your belief in yourself needs to supersede the situation. Your belief in yourself has to overcome whatever it is that you perceive to happen. So, you know... Um, Again, it just becomes easier after you start doing it. You know, when I first started doing live video, I told you I don't like doing live video. I'm very introverted. And, uh, you know, it was just like, um, it was very scary. But then I learned how to do it. And now, you know, I just write like things on a sticky just so I don't forget certain notes. But I just go and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to count on myself. 
and it hasn't filled me yet. You know, I have a YouTube channel stocked full of things, which uh, this is the other thing. So wait, so I want to I want to do this in steps. I'm guessing, I'm going to talk about the other part about being ultra productive. Um, so this is about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, everyone's like, I need to get in my comfort zone. Oh my God, I can't think of a scarier place to be. Why would you want to be boring? I mean, if, if life doesn't have that excitement, if you aren't jumping out of bed every morning, if, if you aren't like, oh my God, I just got an idea, then something has gone wrong. Because that's the magic of life. That's what makes, that's what separates someone who is laying in their deathbed and says, I did, I did everything that I, that I could. You know, I may not have traveled to Paris, but I lived every day to the fullest. As opposed to someone who was like, I wish I would have just trusted myself. You're here on this earth with one life and you, I'm sorry to say, you know, we're all going to die someday. And if you don't do that thing that means something to you, the thing that you want to say out loud, what are you waiting for? That day that you're comfortable? Because that day's never going to come. And the more you wait, the more uncomfortable you're going to get. But not in the fun way. You're actually going to get uncomfortable um, in, with yourself. So, you know... A powerful thing happens when you're able to speak your mind. You know, when I first started doing it, was it scary? Yeah, I spent my whole life, like, not believing in myself, you know, not, not, uh, not understanding my identity. So I said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm going to believe in myself. And you know what? I'm, like, completely bulletproof now. Nothing can get in my way. And you know, you know, I have a severe health condition. So uh, for me to say that, I've, I've counted on myself and I've, I haven't let myself down yet. So, okay, so get uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, Michael Jordan said, I failed over and over again and that's why I succeed. So if you believe in yourself and you believe in what it is that you want to do and say that's going to differentiate you, that means that uh, you're like Michael Jordan. What a superstar he is. He didn't do it by saying, can I make that basket? You know, uh, am I going to be able to make that hook shot? You know, how many times has he let his team down? Probably. You're way too comfortable, Tiffany. Well, then... Uh, you need to write a list of things that will make you uncomfortable. I mean, if you really want to like equate this to something like, you know, people are like afraid to go work out or, you know, oh, I don't want to, you know, my, or, 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 you know, oh, my legs hurt. You know, I worked out yesterday and, and I'm afraid that I'm going to sprain an, sprain an ankle. <laughs> like Lynn said, we are more resilient than you know. And so, you know, I guarantee you that nothing sells that conviction. And if you believe in yourself and you start doing, speaking, whatever it is that will make you stand out, you know, only you know that. Uh, I, that's what I help my clients do. I call it your genius. The combination of your expertise and life experience. There is one thing, one thing that you do that is so different from everybody else that when you do it, so this is what I was talking about earlier, when you do it, it puts you in a state of flow. So flow is the ultimate state of being. Mihaly Shinensei, I didn't say that right at all. Um, you know, he was a famous psychologist and he discovered flow. And what flow is, is uh, this is magical. It shuts down your stupid thinking brain so that, you know, this is what surfers experience. It's like a high, like when you have a runner's high, so that you become so, it's like when time stands still. Uh, have you ever been working on something and you're like, 
wow, I can't believe an entire day went by. I'm so into it. Like if you're a writer, writing does that. Um, you know, whatever it is, like whatever it is that you do, you designer or whatever. And when you're it's so in flow, you're in your zone of genius. That's what a zone of genius is. And, uh, you know, time stops. But on the other side, what ends up happening is all these ideas come. So people are like, you know, I don't know what to do. You know, oh, I don't know how to do this. When you're in flow, first of all, you have a million ideas. And you know exactly what to do. Because when you have a million ideas and you're in flow and you are loving what you're doing and you know it so well, then all you have to do is find a way to get it out. I'm going to speak this, write it, do a webinar about it, and, and God help me, I don't need to learn the 20 steps. I just need to go and look on the internet. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to get it out. This is how I built a YouTube channel in one month with like, I can't even tell you how many videos are on it. Someone who doesn't even like video, uh, you know, I've been so in flow. Today, I created a free download for you with an article. Uh, you know, every day I'm like creating new content because uh, when you're in flow, that's the excitement and it shuts down your stupid thinking brain so that belief in yourself just becomes automatic. So, you know, um, that one thing that you do, your genius, you or somebody, you know, this is what I do in my business, needs to identify it. Because when you are in that state of flow, that's, to me, that's what life is all about. Um, you know, that's what we're here for. So like for me, so, you know, I talked about yesterday, what would you do in your business if you knew that failure was a possibility? Failure is a possibility. You know, we just talked about that. People fail all the time and you can't, um, you can't, uh, uh, guarantee money. You can't guarantee other people's actions. All you can guarantee are your own. And so, you know, that one thing that you do, that you're genius, you would be doing it and you've probably done it long before you had this business. And when you know that one thing, that makes you ultra powerful. So, you know, like for me, that one thing, I inspire subtle shifts in people's perceptions to help them get to their next level. I have been doing that all my life. I did that in my job. It's how I won uh, uh, international awards for um, innovation for shopping centers. Uh, I did that when before I started this business. I had a website. It's called The Harlow Effect. And on the front, it actually says, I, we inspire subtle shifts of inspiration. In people. I didn't know I was going to start this business, but now I inspire subtle shifts of inspiration and shifts in perception so that you can get your message out and build your profit generating business. What is it that you do? You would do it and you probably did it before. You just weren't charging for it. That one thing is that point of difference that will set you apart from everybody else. So, uh, this may be the last thing, but the last thing is when you know that one thing, when you're in flow, that means that you need to understand that success is not a destination. You are not working for 10K, 20K, 100K. That's not what you're working for. Because if that's what you're working for, then you're going to feel very unfulfilled when you get it. You know, money is flat. You can burn it. Uh, and uh, it doesn't stop bad things from happening to you. And if it doesn't have a purpose... Um, then you're still left with you. So success in your business, in actuality, and this is actually what produces money, is when you understand that that success is a daily activity. When you can be in flow and be the most excited person ever about what you're doing, that you do it so well that people notice and want to pay you, that's what success is. That's what makes you different. That's what brings in money. That's what makes people see you. That's what makes people hear you. That's what makes people follow you. And when you can have that conviction in yourself, 
then the end, you know, the money, all those things have meaning and you will get them. Without that, you're struggling to try to find the answer to get to some meaningless goal and you're suffering in the process. So, you know, as I said, this is like a daily task because if you don't remind yourself that your goal is to be different rather than follow people, you will fall into the system that has been created through social media. And it's not your fault, but this is, you know, Facebook is a, is a, um, was designed as a habit forming product. And the way that entrepreneurs are being taught is to, um, be in fa- be in Facebook and get clients from Facebook, but in actuality, you know, if all you focused on, how am I different? What tools do I need? Um, and what is my definition of success? And then you do that one thing that sets you on fire every day. You will be successful. You don't have to prove yourself in Facebook groups. You don't have to learn the latest gadget. You, you really don't, you know, um, you can earn as much as you want. And if you look at the people who are making like millions, none of those people, and I'm talking millions, I'm not talking the new people that just, you know, came out of the woodwork. I'm not talking about them. And those are very far and few in between. Uh, but if you look at the people who are making like multimillionaires, none of them built their business off of Facebook. They didn't build them in Facebook groups. They did it by being so passionate about what they did. So, you know, this is something that either you get it or you don't. And like I always tell people, you know, surround yourself with people that get you. In fact, that should be, you know, part of this is that when you surround yourself with people that get you, then you feel more encouraged to do, you know, to stand out. It's very hard to, um, to speak if you think nobody is listening. But when you believe in yourself and you are so passionate about what you do, it's kind of like a weird thing, but you don't care if anyone's listening. That's called purpose. When you understand why you're here and who you help, suddenly... Everything else loses its meaning. And I often say, you know, I was lucky. I, I, I was forced into it because I, I have this health condition. But I learned it um, through another method, through another way. And now I really want to spread this message because you don't have the, you know, the torture but the side benefit of um, of of having something that takes you away from all of it. But I want to tell you that, you know, um, life happens to everybody. And so if you're not enjoying every waking moment of your business, the bad, the good, the, you know, failing, and then learning how to get back up and go at it again, then you're, you're not enjoying your life because I don't know about you, but I work all the time. Not because I have to, because I want to. I'm going to end this soon because that stupid garbage truck is outside. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, uh, I'm going to ask you a question. This is going to hit home hard, so be prepared. What are you pretending not to know about yourself that's holding you back? What are you pretending not to know? You know, like, like if you're overweight or something, it's like, you know, I know I should eat better. I know I shouldn't eat that piece of cake. I know. But then you still go do it. So what are you pretending not to know about, you know, creating your success? Because I, I just told you the answer. And then your second question is, why are you not doing it if you know it? Those are heavy, deep questions that I want you to ponder tonight. 
because I heard this today, and I and I think that um, maybe this is mo a more relatable thing. But don't be an extra in your own movie. Our lives are a story. You're you're living your story every single day, and so if um, are you showing up as the star, or are you showing up? being a victim to, you know, everyone else around you. You don't have to have the spotlight on you to be the star. You make your own spotlight. I'm alone, like, most of the time, partially because of my health condition and just, you know, now I'm just, like, very introverted. But uh, I feel lit up all the time. I'm just excited to be alive and be able to speak. And so I really want you to, um, to take this information and use it. It sounds like very conceptual. And so in my state of flow, I created a strategic marketing plan template for you so that you can, I'm sorry, the stupid garbage truck, so that you can take what it is that you have and understand what you need to do specifically and then decide what, what tactics and vehicles you're going to use to get it out to the world. It's a very simplified marketing plan, so don't look for like some detailed thing. You know, That's what I, I help people do in my business. But this is a free download for you, and it's pretty in-depth. It goes all the way down to like a daily planner you can download. But this, um, this marketing plan is something that will help you understand, you know, the basis, the foundation of your business. This is what true business is about. And when you understand that, then you can go and learn, you know, how to do a webinar. Learn from Google. It's free. Everything that, that everybody who is teaching a tactic, that information is on Google, just so you know. You have to pay $2,000, you have to go to like some school. In fact, I recommend you don't go to those schools uh, that teach like everything because you're going to overwhelm yourself and then you're going to start focusing on that instead of what you do differently. This is about having a business that gives you the confidence to be you out loud. So you can find that um, free marketing download uh, and there's the questions on there also um, at totalgenius.net backslash marketing uh, dash strategy. Marketing dash strategy. And uh, let's see. Um, what else? Was it? Oh, and so if then if you haven't watched it already, or maybe you should watch it again because so many people are, are like not doing it, you can watch the webinar that spells out the steps on how to get yourself positioned correctly, and that's at positioned.totalgenius.net. You can take the seven-day challenge, and I want you to know I've created all these things in the past couple weeks. I have never said I'm a content machine, but I am so in flow, it just voila. So there you go. Those are my gifts to you, and uh, if you're interested in working with me, you can look at my uh, newer program. It's called Position to Sell, all one word, .totalgenius.net, where I help you discover your positioning, your unique positioning, your genius, and I help you put it into your business. Now, if you really need more in-depth work, uh, and, and, I'm, and I would recommend this to people who... Um, who think you can get away with something that's, that's lower price and you need actually more in-depth work, but it's at uh, totalgenius.net backslash discover dash your dash genius. That's my signature program because, um, you know, uh, there are different levels of business. So this is the basic business foundations, and if this is all you do, you can create your success. I can't think of a more fulfilling way and a real way to create your success rather than following other people. So anyway, come join me at the Genius Collective where everybody's an individual. Um, that's my group on Facebook. 
and you're welcome to share your genius. You know, I'm all about helping people get out there and, um, you know, that's it. Have a great night, everyone. I will not be here tomorrow. I have to go deal with some car stuff and, uh, but I may be here Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye.